Knowing the future is uncertain. Knowing the one who holds the future is a sure thing. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Tim Gustafson. Boston Globe columnist Jeff Jacoby writes of the, quote, uncanny ability of experts to get things hopelessly, cataclysmically wrong. A quick glance at recent history shows he's right. The great inventor Thomas Edison, for instance, once declared that talking movies would never replace silent films. And in 1928, Henry Ford declared, people are becoming too intelligent ever to have another war. Countless other predictions by experts have missed the mark badly. Genius obviously has its limits. Only one person with a capital P is completely reliable, and he had strong words for some so-called experts. The religious leaders of Jesus' day claimed to have the truth. These scholars and theologians thought they knew what the promised Messiah would be like when he arrived. Jesus cautioned them, You study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. Then he pointed out how they were missing the heart of the matter. These are the very scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. As another new year gets underway, we'll hear predictions ranging from the terrifying to the wildly optimistic. Many of them will be stated with a great deal of confidence and authority. Don't be alarmed. Our confidence remains in the one at the very heart of the scriptures. He has a firm grip on us and on our future. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from John chapter 5, verses 31 through 40. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies in my favor, and I know that his testimony about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it that you may be saved. John was a lamp that burned and gave light and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I am doing, testify that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently, because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. That's today's scripture reading from John chapter 5, verses 31 through 40. And now let's pray together. Father, whenever we're troubled or alarmed, help us to seek you. We commit this coming year and all that it holds to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.